View the following program in its entirety with Xfinity On Demand by selecting Get Local and choosing All HS Sports. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local. You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Vermont's been a great program throughout the years. You know, that's one of those games where we look at on the schedule and we know it's going to be a dogfight either here or there. Whenever you know you're competing against a coach like, like Don who has won a, a state championship, you know that you have to compete at the highest level. I think it'll be a pretty good matchup. You know, I think our speed can do some damage hopefully for um, with them and hopefully we can pressure them and not let them do the things that they want to do. It's a yin and yang situation because their strength is their perimeter and I think our strength is our is our front court and it's not like they don't have people that can play in the paint. We hope that our perimeter players will match up and take the challenge and at least neutralize their perimeter and, and maybe allow us to have an advantage in the paint. Keys to Friday night, don't let them high low us to death. Got to keep them off the glass and don't let the guards come down and get them into their offense. So just going to stop them from doing what they want to do. You know, when they play here, they bring fans. When we go there, we bring fans. So it's always a, a circled event on everyone's calendar. You know, Coach Runners does a great job from, you know, his feeders all the way through. And it shows the, the development that he's done with the program. As we turn the calendar into the month of February, we hit the home stretch of the high school basketball season, and we bring you into Lamont High School for our CN100 Game of the Week. How's it going, everyone? Alongside Mark Lindo, my name is Joe Brand. It's the Hillcrest Hawks and the Lamont Indians here today, a matchup of two teams, Mark, up at the top of the South Suburban Blue Conference, and both these teams really can't afford to cough up this game. Well, Hillcrest playing at an extremely high level, They've been one of the state's top-ranked teams all year long. Lamont at home tonight. They're two games behind the loss column. They have to protect their home floor tonight, Joe. For Hillcrest, it's a matter of stopping some very, very big players. They know that's the task at hand, but they've been gearing up for that a lot lately. Well, Hillcrest is an outstanding basketball team because they can come at you with full court, relentless tenacity on the defensive end. Their defense creates their offense. They're long, they're athletic, they have great team speed. Quite a bit of a challenge for Lamont tonight. A bit of a different aspect for Lamont. Some big players, more of an old school type play for Rick Runnis' club, but they have a tough time of handling some quick, sharp shooters from Don Houston's club. Well, there's no doubt, Lamont's gotta defend. They have to change their defenses and they have to give Hillcrest some different looks. On the offensive side, Lamont goes 6'9", 6'7", 6'4". They bring 6'5 off the bench. They have to use their size and their length, and they have to get the ball inside to control the paint. Now Lamont with a chance at the last shot. They already lead by two. Ferguson. Locked down to two. Ferguson left elbow. Just rims out the putback. Are you kidding me? A horn co home court fall. Uh, Radomski, he's the man, he's their grinder. So you see a pretty good look coming to your screen by Ferguson making a play, squaring. Radomski just battling, 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 gets it down at the buzzer. Just squirted it out, so Radomski with the last touch on it. And what a way to end this first half, playing from behind and coming back. Ferguson leaving through from the charity strike short. O'Leary the board, O'Leary up and good again. Well, he just takes this ball right away from State. It is, he, you see the missed shot and then the battle right there, just too strong. Ultimately, the foul goes to Jalen Hughes. It could have been any one of three of them. Watch how strong O'Leary is. One, two guys around him and he just muscles it up. The Hawks actually lost their last game, a 68-64 deficit. And now Hughes with a steal. Hughes goes up. And after getting fouled, we'll pour it in. Well, a steal, the bucket, and the foul. We talked about Harvey and Hughes stepping up. Look at the pickpocket right there. Bats with his left hand, knocks with his right. Brings the ball up and strong and to the goal. Great individual play by Jalen Hughes, the 5 10 senior guard.
Great weave downstairs and Dylan West getting the unselfish pass from Jeremiah Staten. Staten with a great delivery, recognition, penetrates, saw the peripheral vision up the side, and two on one, was able to deliver the dish. There's Harvey driving in with no problem whatsoever. And we're tied up at 55. What a great basket this is because it's acceleration but strength at the same time. He had his head up, put his head down to get to the goal, and able to split not one, not two, but get three guys. The Blue Sea parted, and Bobby Harvey takes advantage on cue. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local.